Okay, I'm gonna show you today how you can take one of your meals and make it a really easy on the go portable meal. Let's say that you have 40 grams of oats, six egg whites, and 35 grams of berries. I'm just using an example from one of my meal plans. Um, first and foremost, what I do is the night before, I'll prep all my dry ingredients and leave them out. So like, you know, seal it up. So I've got some oats in here. I have 35 grams of oats in here, 15 grams of protein powder, 10 grams of raisins, and two grams of the sugar-free, fat-free banana pudding mix. So I'm gonna make a banana raisin cookie here. And then with the rest, which I wouldn't add my liquid ingredients until this morning, but what I did with this one is just 10 grams of protein powder, one egg white, and two grams of the sugar-free, fat-free um, pudding mix and then I added some of this chocolate sugar-free syrup so it's going to be a chocolate banana flapjack and these are both easy to take on the go okay when you're making your cookie it is going to be kind of trial and error at first you just want to add a little bit of water and then you see here like you're going to kind of have to work with it because if you don't you don't want it to be too moist if it's too watery it's not going to set up and stick um, this is going to be a smaller version of the cookie, so you're going to smash it down flat and um, it'll probably turn out more on the crunchy side because it is a thinner one. You could use a smaller container and make it thicker, but with this one we're going to make it um, more on the crunchy side. So we'll come back to that after we put it in the microwave. And then with your flapjack, you just want to make sure you just mix it up real well and I added the oats to it, so it's going to have, you know, not a lot of oats, but it has some and just make sure it's mixed really good and then we'll go ahead and put it out on the skillet okay so I put it in at 60% power for a minute and 20 and I'm gonna pop it out and then if you like it more this is a little bit still soft you could just keep it like this I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna cook it for another 25 seconds on full power Okay, so the cookie's done. As you can see, it's gonna be more on the crispy side. These can also be made like the night before. I wouldn't make them more than like a night before as far as the cookie, just because you want it fresh. But you can make it the night before. Once it's completely cooled, I'll usually put it in a Ziploc so I can take it with me. And then the pancake, you could make these um, really at the beginning of your week and freeze them. And then what I do, because I don't like them to be mushy or anything, I'll put them in my toaster oven and just toast them for a few minutes so that they're nice and crisp again and that's it.